Hello everybody, a random gnome here, and I have something different for you today. It's going to be a little um, overview and showing what Steam's uh, new update big picture is. And before I get into this, what you're going to want to do to get this big picture update, you're going to want to go to Steam, click on settings, and you'll see something called beta participation under the account tab. And you're going to change. And when you're in there, you're going to change it to Steam beta update. And once you have that done, this will be here. Your uh, Steam should restart after you choose that option and then you'll have it. So uh, hopefully I get pretty good FPS on this because on my screen um, Big Picture runs smooth and everything's good but uh, Camtasia seems like it makes it a little bit choppier than it looks so I don't know. And yeah it wants me to launch it in compatibility mode. I'm not sure if it's just going to be me or you guys are going to have to do that too. But that really doesn't matter. So we're in here and um, yeah, we pretty much got it. And what this is, I think, you know, what they're trying to do is, you know, maybe a console gamer comes to PC and they don't really like being so close to their TV and they don't really like using their mouse all the time like this. Uh, they can just open this up and I have my Xbox controller in hand and I can go to my library. I can play my games. I can launch them right through here, not even using the regular Steam uh you know, just you, you don't even have to go to your library on there. You can use it on here, uh, so you don't even have to use your mouse at all. And you can even go to your friends. You know, maybe I want to click and send him a message. I can bring it up, and they got this cool, sweet, uh, you know, this new keyboard that you can use right off the bat. So it's pretty awesome. I would send a message, but I think, I don't know, you might respond with something not so friendly for YouTube. So yeah, to show you this keyboard, I will go on to YouTube and uh, we can, you can, this is really smooth actually. I don't know if you guys ever use the Wii or any other, you know, internet browser. It's usually pretty bad to control, but this is really nice. Uh, hopefully the FPS of the video is good. I don't know, it might look choppy for you guys, but on my hand it's nice. So I'm going to show off this little thing. So I'm just going to look up a random gnome since, you know, that's me. But you can see how this works, and I think it's really nice. Uh, you know, I don't know why anybody hasn't thought of this before, because it's way quicker, way smoother, and it takes, you know, no time at all. And it's just way better. It's less of a hassle to go all around the on-screen keyboard and pushing each one with one button you know that's really annoying and this kills that that's it's a really nice feature they have going on so I'm just gonna leave Steam I mean uh, leave the browser like yeah you can hit RT and LT to switch between the browser and Steam or friends so you can have quick access and if you want to buy your games on here it's really simple yeah you got Dark Souls, you got it all, you got it all. It's all updated. Um, you know, a lot of games on Steam are made for specifically an Xbox controller and then maybe ported over and gave, you know, gave it, you know, PC controls. Like Darksiders, that's obviously made for the Xbox controller. American Nightmare, I'd say so, but hey, the controls are pretty good. But yeah, there's a lot of games on here which, you know, mouse and keyboard are, you know, a second they thought of that second so like Kung Fu Strike that's I don't even know if you can use your keyboard I've never tried but I know it's made for it even Counter-Strike Go has a pretty good um controller support on there really nice so yeah I'm not exactly sure if you can go to your groups in this I have a lot of friends I don't know why I'm gonna see if it'll come up on the edge <laughs> yeah I don't know if they're restarting or is this really how many friends I have. Okay, yeah, it is actually how many friends I have. But, um, yeah, uh, I'm not sure if they're going to add the groups in here or what's going on. Uh, I guess it's showing me that I have stuff paused that I should probably start downloading again. Okay. But, yeah, I thought this was really cool in case anybody... Uh, prefers being fur further away from their TV or, um, you know, anything like that. You can go ahead and change your settings in here, like, hello everybody. Hello, everybody. Yeah, I can hear myself. So, you know, it's pretty cool. 
friends, you got all your options. You know. It's got everything that you would see in the natural, you know, Steam interface. But uh, really simplified, it re reminds me a lot of uh, Windows, um, what's that, Media Center? Yeah, that's really what it reminds me of. And something I was thinking about, I, I was, uh, you know that new console that uh, Gabe and Valve and everybody's always talking about, the Steam box? I think they're going to use that interface on there, which I think is really good, especially with, you know, the keyboard options are really amazing. You know, I just think it's pretty cool. But obviously, uh, I think I'm just going to stick with this because it's going to be a hassle just to go out of my way to choose a game in there when I can just go, you know, play real easy. But hey, if you're on your couch and, uh, you know, you're chilling back, that's the way to go. But yeah, I thought it was a cool thing to show off. I thought, you know, maybe you guys needed it, you guys wanted it. If you're an early PC gamer and you don't, you know, feel like navigating through all these menus, it's really nice. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and check it out. See you guys later.